Hey, welcome back to our time sticking YouTube channel. My name's Jake. Today we're going to be talking about lever set watches. So stick with us through our intro and we're going to be exploring this old timey way of setting a timepiece. Now, as it goes today, watches are typically set on the crown. It comes as no surprise then, that many current horological fans become flummoxed when dealing with old lever set watches. As a part of the greater watch and clock making industry, we here at Times Ticking get plenty of folks new to lever set watches asking us, just how do you set this thing, to paraphrase. Well, before we get into the nuances of setting the time on a lever set watch, We'll be comparing differences between lever set and pendant set, aka set on the crown, watches. And what's more, we'll also be throwing out an honorable mention regarding a third less common setting mechanism. Let's get started. Now, there are some pretty cool historical reasons as to why lever set watches took hold in watchmaking. During the 19th century, the railroad industry was building steam, so to speak, globally. Alongside this growing industry came varying timekeeping standards on railways. This became incredibly unsafe. So by around the middle of the century, national standards started taking root. One of the biggest standardizing features was a lever set mechanism on railroad pocket watches. It was a feature that differed from pendant set or crown set watches in that it could not easily snag. This is why lever set watches became popular. They were harder to set, but even harder to accidentally unset. When a difference of one or two minutes could mean the difference between getting to the station on time and a head-on collision, these mechanisms became crucial in safe travel. Pendant set watches remained common during this time, but lever set watches were a 19th century sensation that carried on for a plethora of years following. Being more like lever release than lever set, lever set watches do actually still require the crown. Essentially, lever set watches require a lever release before the hands can be manipulated via the crown. Most lever set watches require unscrewing, prying off, or otherwise removing the bezel and crystal of the watch. That's the part that stumps lots of folks. This gives the person setting the watch access to the lever release. Once the lever has been swung away from the dial, the hands can be moved via the crown. After lining up the time, all the owner has to do is swing the lever back to its original position and then replace the bezel. If you don't have to remove a bezel, then you have what's called a hunting case. When watches are housed in these cases, their levers are accessible outside of the bezel. These particular lever release watches were great if you were on the go and didn't want to remove the bezel. The key difference between lever set watches and pendant set watches is how the hands are engaged. Pendant set watches free up the hands for movement by pulling out a stem, instead of requiring a separate lever. This is far more convenient in many respects, but lever set watches, especially pocket watches, have had their utility and are so hands-on that they add an extra personal relationship with the timekeeper. And as I mentioned before, we do have an honorable mention for today. It is a key set watch. Most early, early pocket watches didn't have fancy crowns, levers, or stems to set the hands. That's right, our great, 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 great ancestors, maybe not that far back, their great, great ancestors had to set their pocket watches with a key, like a clock. As it were, one had to use a key to both wind and set in the early years of watches. The eventual rise of pendant set and lever set watches had its ties to this clock style manipulation. Pendant in the phrase pendant set has the same Latin origin as pendulum. Some of the oldest personal watches were made into pendants to wear around the neck, swinging like pendulums from their wear. Once the lever set started rolling in, both lever set and pendant set were the dominant setting styles. However, there are still plenty of timepieces out there that require a key set. Just don't go asking Casio for one. Key set, pendant set, and lever set are like the three amigos of time setting on a watch. All three of these setting styles have been translated to personal timepieces in one way or another for an incredible amount of time. Even wristwatches have incorporated these styles of watch setting in years prior. However, the most obvious and common setting mechanism is a pendant set on modern watches. That being said, old mechanical watches are still quite ubiquitous. Google searching, pawn shops, grandma's attic, and other various venues have lever set and key set pocket watches available. So if you put an ear to the ground, 
you just might be able to grab all three. Each has a history that's tied to how the horological industry has evolved over the centuries. All cut from the same pocket watch cloth, they're unified by their histories, riding their own horses side by side across the frontiers of watchmaking. So which one of the three amigos do you have in your collection? Do you have a pendant set, a lever set, or even a key set? Let us know in the comments below. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.